Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be the TMI tag, too much information tag, basically where I just tell you so much about myself. I was tagged here on YouTube by Must Love Shoes, so thank you for tagging me. And there is a ton of questions, so let's just get started. I am wearing just a top that I got off of $10mall.com. I actually plan on doing a whole haul because I got a lot of stuff from that website and I was just getting ready for the spring. So I got this little shirt. It's just a cute like powder blue with cutouts. I love cutouts on the shoulder. And I am wearing some good old sweatpants because when I got home from running errands, sweatpants it is. <laughs> yes, I'm currently in love right now. I wouldn't say I've had a terrible breakup. I mean, I don't think breakups are usually enjoyable, so there is one breakup that I can point out that, I mean, it definitely sucked, but I would I mean, nothing ended on bad terms in any of my past relationships, everything. I am a 5'5". Five five. I swear I used to be 5'6". I don't know, I think I'm just crazy, but I am 5'5". Five five. I have not been on a scale in so long. The last time I was on a scale, I weighed 135. Yes, I do have two tattoos. I have them both in places that can only be seen if I'm wearing a bathing suit or that kind of attire. Um, because, I don't know, I don't want to get any tattoos on any visible places just in case of future careers. So I have one on my rib, rib cage up here that says Faith and Cursive with a nice little flower. And then I have on my lower hip, I'll try to insert pictures too, that says Vivo Rosada Amore, which is uh, Live, Laugh, Love in Italian because I am very much Italian. I do, I have four on this ear, though I usually just wear one or two, sometimes a couple more. I mean, I always lose the little earrings, like these little things, I always lose these, and so I'm always just left with wearing things that don't have backs. I don't know why, for the life of me, if an earring has a back, I lose that back so often. It's like bobby pins. And then I have three on this side, and then my cartilage pierced, and my belly button pierced. Like everybody else has said, I don't really know why this is even in here because no one knows what it means. Apparently it means one true pairing, which is just kind of like your favorite couple, um, Hollywood style or anything like that. I'm going to go with my favorite TV show, which is Pretty Little Liars, and Arya and Ezra. Love them. Didn't I just answer that? Pretty Little Liars. And then uh, that's pretty much the one show that I watch like religiously on Tuesdays. It's like, oh, Kat, you work on Tuesday. No, no, I need to swap with somebody because I need to watch Pretty Little Liars at 8 o'clock. Um, and then aside from that, anything on HGTV or the Food Network. So, Property Brothers, Buying and Selling, House Hunters, House Hunters International, Chopped, um, Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dines. Just love it. Um, this is hard. Maybe Switchfoot? That's a band that I can listen to on repeat forever and never get sick of them. So, I'm probably going to go with Switchfoot. Yeah. Definitely the family dog that I grew up with. It was in a white American Eskimo, and I just get really attached to animals, and that was just like our baby. Like, throughout my whole childhood growing up, that was like my family's dog. We have another dog now over at my parents' house, or they have another dog. I have two of my own here. But, yeah, I really miss that dog still all the time. I am 22 years old. Birthday is October 11th, so I am a Libra. Definitely honesty, um, having a great sense of humor, and being active, but being laid back at the same time. When I can be myself around because I am pretty freaking weird. Um, yeah, basically I just keep thinking of my boyfriend, so everything that he is. <laughs> I got lucky. This may sound cheesy, but, and it's actually more of like a saying, it's called the golden rule. Do unto others as you would want them to do unto you. And that's just something my mom always kind of brought me up by. And I just strongly stand behind it because I think you should treat somebody the way that you want to be treated. Treat somebody with respect, and you should be treated with respect back. I know that's not the case how it is in this world, but I think that's a really good quote to live by. And I'm always about respect and, um you know, being nice. There's no reason to go out in the world and just be mean to others. Bradley Cooper, Denzel Washington, Matthew McConaughey, 
Jennifer Aniston, Catherine Hegel, love her, Julia Roberts. I could go on. I mean, I have, like, those are probably the most, my most favorite actors and actresses, but I don't know, I could probably go on. <laughs> Purple and red. Red is just always been my favorite color where it's just like such a nice, bold, rich color that I love. But then when it comes to like, if you, you guys have seen my makeup tutorials, I love purple. Like purple lipstick, got like purple flowers over there, purple clothing, purple eyeshadow. Just, I love purple. I don't know why. It used to be all about loud music, but lately I've been really down to soft music. I don't know why. I mean, there's definitely those times where I just want to jam and just let loose, go crazy, listen to loud music, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> Am I getting boring? I, I really like soft music now. When I'm sad. I don't really go anywhere. I can't remember the last time I was like legitimately really, really sad that I went somewhere. Maybe my parents' house. That'd be definitely somewhere that I would go or drive, go on a run. I'm not sad very often to where that's something that like instantly pops in my head. This totally depends like everybody says. I mean, if I just really need to get in, get out, wash my hair, that's it. Five minutes. But my typical showers, I will be honest with you, 25 minutes to 30 minutes because I take my time. And this is going to sound weird and this is probably TMI, but this whole tag is TMI. I shave my whole entire body. So I shave my arms, I shave my legs, I just shave everything. I hate having hair on me aside from my eyebrows and my head of hair. Um, having hair on my body is a big pet peeve. It always has been. And uh, yeah, so I don't know. I mean, on typical days where I'm just, like, running errands or something, maybe 15 to 20 minutes. Um, but if I need to, like, get ready from start to finish, including shower, drying my hair, straightening it, whatever, probably an hour and a half. No, and I hope that I am never in a physical fight. Good sense of humor. Somebody that is very family-oriented. Someone that gets along with his family is just such a turn-on to me. I don't know why. It's just having that connection that I admire. Um, someone who is competitive, but not overly competitive. Like I'll Disrespect. I hate when I see people in general disrespecting other people. This goes back to like my quote that I said was my favorite. I just, I hate seeing rude people. I mean, there's always those times where yes, you have the option or like the, the right to be upset or to be rude, I guess, but I don't know. I just kind of find it as a waste of time and it's a definite turn off. Overly competitive people to where it interferes with their actual mood. I joined YouTube because I used to watch videos all the time. The first person I ever watched was Candy Johnson and I just like looked up all of her tutorials because I thought she was so gorgeous. I found the whole beauty community and I was like, oh, this is a thing. Like this is what people do and I just became attached to it. I got home from school or work or whatever and I'd go on YouTube and I would just watch videos and I'd go play with makeup and I've, I've always been into makeup but not to the extent that I am now. So I was like, I want to make YouTube videos. I want to be a part of this community as well. So that's why I started. I don't really have any like crazy fears, just the typical spiders, snakes, bugs, but I mean even then. I will never kill a spider. I am, I'm scared of spiders, like I don't want to be in the same room as a spider. I will never kill a spider. I will go get a glass from the counter and I'll get a piece of paper or a magazine and I will take it outside. Is that weird? I don't cry that often. Maybe, probably when I was watching, no, yes! When I am um, on YouTube, my boyfriend and I just love watching other videos on YouTube as well, funny videos, or we watch um, when military spouses or military fathers, um, parents in general, come home, and it's those kind of surprises, you know what I'm talking about? They come home, and they're having their dog come to greet them for the first time after being gone for like nine months, and the dog just gets so excited and just like doesn't, I don't know, you'll have to look them up because I instantly cry every single time at one of those videos. Um, probably about an hour and a half ago when my boyfriend went to work. It is just money. Last book I read was To Have and to Hold by Jane Green. Um, 
her style of books are, she's a British writer and she's kind of raunchy, like her books are kind of raunchy, but they're they're entertaining to me. So it's kind of like Fifty Shades of Grey, that whole series. No, it's hard to explain. There's more of a storyline behind To Have and to Hold and uh, Jimmy Me Jones, which is another book of hers that I read. And I just enjoy those kind of books because they keep me going. They're fast paced and they're funny. And um, they have some love story behind them and some learning opportunities as well. I'm not actually currently reading a book, which is kind of weird. I always like to have one that I'm sort of interested, especially this time of the year, where I just want to go outside, sit in a chair, and just relax in the sun and read a book. So I probably need to go on a hunt for one again. I'm currently watching Property Brothers, HDTV, like I already said, um, but I have it on pause right now, so I'm making this video because <laughs> it's a new one. The last texted was my mama. My boyfriend would say my favorite food is pizza because I, anytime like we don't want to make dinner, he's like, what do you want to do for dinner? I'm like, pizza. <laughs> um, but also like Subway or steaks or spaghetti, my mom's spaghetti. Oh my God. I don't know. But those are the kind of foods that I really like as well. I want to visit so many places. Um, I'd love to go to Italy, just Europe, uh, the Caribbean. Those are like my top three places that I really want to travel to and that I plan to travel to throughout my life. TJ Maxx looking for a tray. My boyfriend and I just bought a new sectional couch with an ottoman and so I'm trying to find a cute little tray to put on top of it so we can put our drinks on there and things like that. I mean, I guess you could call it a crush. An hour and a half ago, like I said, when my boyfriend left for work. I don't know. Is that weird? Probably about my boyfriend just joking around earlier today or last night, but I can't think of the last time I was, like, legitimately insulted. Chocolate. Definitely chocolate. Milk chocolate. White chocolate. Oh, God. I used to play the piano when I was younger, and I can still play it now. I play by ear, and then I also took classes. Um, I played the flute, which I could probably still play that now, too. But I don't currently, like, have an instrument in my home that I play right now. My favorite piece of jewelry, I'm not wearing them, but they're these diamond earrings from my grandma uh, before she passed away. I them all the time. sport I played was soccer. I've played soccer all my life and then my boyfriend and I did a co-ed team for a little bit and that's going to start back up hopefully this season now that it's spring as well so we can play soccer again together but I did used to play competitively throughout my whole life. Then I got a bone fracture in my back and my back is going to be um, have two fractures in it the rest of my life. Uh, surgery is not going to fix. I'm missing glucose. I'm my, I went through chiropractic, got an MRI, went through physical therapy. It's not activated right now, but if I'm too aggressive on it, then it becomes activated. My backs or my hips become out of place, and it's just a big old mess. So that's why I stopped playing competitive soccer. I miss it every single day. It was by Lifehouse featuring Natasha Bedingfield, and it was called Between the Raindrops. This is going to be a little bit inappropriate, and it's not my favorite, but it's just the one that sticks out the most. Um, when I w went on a trip with one of my friends and my family years ago, a guy came up to us and he was like, Excuse me, miss, do you work at Subway? Because you just gave me a foot long. <laughs> and I was like, are you serious? Is that Do people say that? Is that a pickup line? I don't know. No, I have never used that pickup line, nor have I ever used any pickup line. My boyfriend and I live together, so, and we're like best friends too, so I guess when he was here earlier today was the last time I hung out with him. Hung out with somebody. Now I'm just hanging out with my dogs. You should answer these questions, Nick. If you've not already done it, I feel like the TMI tech has been going around for a little bit now. I'm kind of coming on the later end of it. 
Um, I was tagged a long time ago, but I just had other videos that were requested that I needed to film and put up as well. But I will link down below a couple of specific girls, and as well as you should do this video if you're watching. And go ahead, if you do this video, let me know down below, and I'd love to go ahead and check out your channel. Um, please subscribe to my channel if you have not already, so you can stay up to date with all of my videos. I'll leave a link right here, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!